Hey guys, welcome to Drew Code Sports Talk. I am your host, Andrew Wright. Over here to my right, your left, is my co-host, Cody Johnson. And Cody, we are going to be talking about the second game in the, the divisional round in the NFL playoffs. So okay. let's get to it. We have the Dallas Cowgirls at the Los Angeles Lambs. I'm sorry, Cowboys and the Rams. Uh, who wins and why? Uh, this is a tough one. So they both have some pretty good defenses. Uh, the Rams defense hasn't really lived up to the hype, I would say. I would say in the back half of the season. They have, they've kind of uh, fallen a little off. The, Understatement. <laughs> yeah. The, the Cowboys, though, out of surprise, have really come out of nowhere. Um, I think they were, like, third or almost last in their division at one point uh, and not even talking about playoffs. And now they just kind of fell asleep and wound up here. And, uh, you know, give credit to their defense because it definitely wasn't, let's say, their offense. They weren't putting up Ram-style points. But – this is a tough call. I think if I had to call it, I would probably say that the Cowboys will probably win this. And again, we're going to focus on the same theme as the last game we talked about, Colts and Chiefs and say defense. So the interior defense of the Cowboys is no joke. They're the ones that also penetrated and got a hold of the Saints. Uh, they stopped the Eagles. Um, not, not, I mean, the Eagles isn't a real high-powered uh, team uh, offensively, but you know they were able to keep Carson Wentz in check, stop a little bit of the run. Um, and they did that for both teams. The Cowboys' defense is crazy good, and their offense has always been run the ball with Zeke. Dak throws uh, safe passes. He doesn't really have his tight end, of course, because of retirement. But he's got Amari Cooper, who had a really great game uh, in the last um, wild card game. So I think ultimately the Cowboys will pull this one off. As much as I don't like to say that, because I'm not a Cowboys fan by any <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. I do think, though, the Cowboys will pull this off. And believe it or not, we will be hearing Cowboys coming out of nowhere about how they're going to win the Super Bowl and that they'll be in the championship game. So I'm saying the Cowboys. Uh, this is our first disagreement since we've been back. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> so as I said in the previous video with the Colts and the Chiefs game, um, I go with three things. I look at the, who is the better quarterback, who has the better defense, mm -hmm. who's got the better head coach. And I think two out of the three goes to the Rams. I think the Rams have Jared Goff, and I think he's better than Dak Prescott. For sure. Although I will say Dak, Dak Prescott is a better um, manager of the game. Sure. I think overall Jared Goff is a better quarterback. Yes. Um, and then you have the defenses. I think the Rams have been suspect at best against the run. Yep. The Cowboys have a great run offense. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's going to hurt them there. I think this game is actually going to be super close. I think it's going to be a lot closer than what people think. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, and you obviously agree because you think the Cowboys are going to win. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, But I think this game, I think the Cowboys actually do have a chance. But I don't trust Dak Prescott trying to make that final play. And then, oh, the third the third thing would be the head coach, Sean McVay. I think I don't think anyone would say no, Jason guy's, Garrett over. That guy's a prodigy, man. <laughs> so, I just the Rams defense I think are going to struggle against Zeke. Yeah. And that's who you need to stop. But I feel like they are going to bait Dak Prescott in throwing a lot of these throws. Marcus Peters is one of the better quarters when it comes to baiting quarterbacks at throwing these bad throws. Mm -hmm. And he makes those pick sixes. Now, Aqib Tlaib is all around a better cornerback than uh, Marcus Peters. Right. So I think um, he should be on Amari Cooper most of the time. Mm -hmm. And I think he'll do just fine against him, to be perfectly honest. Sure. I actually think that... Here's where I think, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, no, this is where I think the Rams will struggle with that, is um, they're going to have a hard time kind of trying to con uh, contain Cole Beasley. Um, Amari Cooper, I can understand if he gets shut down a little bit, and I think Zeke is going to get a lot of screen passes, a lot mm -hmm. of run. Um, you know, it's a team that has Adama Kinsu, and they've got Aaron Donald, and I think they've got Dante Flower, if that's his name from the from the, J the Jags. He, uh, oh, uh, uh, um, Fowler. Fowler. So anyways, you've got a great interior defense that can't stop the run, which is odd. But also, too, though, the Rams' pass defense hasn't been that great. Mm -hmm. Yes, Peters is great at baiting quarterbacks, but they've been beating him. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm not saying that the Rams are going to shut down. I can, I, they're going to slow it down, but I ultimately think that the Rams defense will be the 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 uh, the component of what makes them lose. However, also too, if the Rams still had Cooper Cup, I would say Rams all day. Their offense and their team kind of changes with him Without in the him. lineup, and now with him not there, their identity is a little off offensively, which I think affects them defensively. Yeah. I think Robert Woods is a good receiver, and I think he'll actually be able to beat mo- the Cowboys secondary. Um, Brandon Cooks is a speed master, so you can't really double either of those guys. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to make it hard. To your point, though, with Cooper Cup, it would be even easier for that team. Um, But I do like Jared Goff in this situation. But mainly, Todd Gurley is such a beast, and he got rest. And we saw what happened when Zeke got rest. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see what Gurley with uh, with basically two, three weeks of rest. So. All right, guys. Hey, please follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. Comment down below. See what. Uh, tell us who you think is going to win and why you think they're going to win. Thanks, guys. Models popping bottles.